Come back, we're going to go over a piece of equipment that I underutilized until last weekend and realized it's way better than I thought it was. Come back. What's going on everybody this is patrick with mid 10 outdoors how's my outdoor crew doing i hope this video is finding you well um so last video you saw i went camping and used most of my normal stuff that i would use camping but i used something else and the reason why i use this so much more is because i forgot my headlamp i always have a headlamp with me uh camping and i forgot it shame on me i forgot it but i knew i had plenty of lighting it wasn't a big deal i was in a state park like i said wasn't a big deal yes it gets dark in a state park except for bathroom lights off in the distance but you know hey it's good to have anyway so i forgot my headlamp so i went in my pack and i was like oh i brought this i'll use this and ended up using it the whole night and the next morning so what i've got here is the o light o bulb and that's this little dude right here you see right here it says o bulb on it if it'll focus there you are but uh, i used this last weekend quite a bit in a number of ways um, and we'll go, we'll go over the specs and stuff here in a minute, but I use this in a couple different ways. Now I bought the kit. When you buy this, you buy this separate. It's like 19 bucks for 27 bucks. You get this little dude and it's just a, like a key ring, um, attachment that you can put on any of their magnetic lights they have like this and it just hangs on there like that. This is how I used it quite a bit. Like I said, I forgot my headlamp. So I just turned this sucker on. Let me get it to its brightest setting, which is 55 lumens, and was using this to walk around with, kind of like a lantern, and just had it over my finger like so. Well, use this going back and forth to the bathroom time or two. The other good part about this, if you're a red light type person at night, keep pushing it, and guess what? You have a seven watt red light Push it again, and it's a flashing red light. Push it again, and you get to your lowest setting, which I think is 5 lumens, or 6.5. We'll look at all, I'll put all the specs up here in a minute, or as we're talking. But then I got up the next morning and thought, well, I'll film a little bit in the tent. And I did. And most of the illumination coming from above was this hanging off of the top of the tent. I couldn't believe how well it illuminated the, the scene for me when I was, you know, had it hanging up above me camping. Um, so this little dude's going to become part of my take every time with me camping. Um, I haven't taken it quite a, take very often camping, but I took it this last time and I'm glad I had it. Because like I said, walking the path, it put out just enough light on the path to see where you were going, see definition, see rocks or anything you might trip over. It did it perfectly. And it wasn't stupid bright that you were blinding people in campsites and everything. Because I do have a brighter flashlight with me, but why fire it up when I had this? It lets off a soft, warm uh, glow to the ground so you're not overpowering light to your eyes too because one thing we know is once we get our night vision you start throwing bright white lights in your eyes well you start losing your night vision but anyway let's get over here and i'll go over the specifics of this thing and how it really works and second of all o light i apologize i haven't done more with this
Okay, now let's go over the full specs of this thing um, from top to bottom. Number one, they use, we'll just, we'll take this out of the equation because it has nothing to do with it <laughs> as far as, it's just a way of carrying and attaching it to things. All right, so what you get when you buy the Olight old bulb itself is the charging cable and the bulb. Now, it uses Olight's magnetic charging. So all I'd have to do is I have a USB plug up right here, is plug this up into USB, and then all it does, you'll see it turns red as it's waiting for you to charge something with it, is stick it on there right there, and it glows red until it's completely charged, then it'll turn blue. Now, you may be asking, well, how long does it take to charge it, Patrick? Well, it takes two hours to charge from dead. Okay, so now, you know it takes two hours to charge. So, what do you get off of that charge? Well, if you have it at its full max, which is 55 lumens, that's three hours of runtime. 3.5 lumens, you get 56 hours. So that little nightlight look that you get right there you can run that for 56 hours. Now for your red steady seven lumens for seven hours or your flashing for 30 hours. So that flashing, if you were in trouble and needed uh, help, well, that'd be a kind of a cool thing to have is that flashing for 30 hours. I mean, you could actually break it up by turning it on and off at night uh, if you were trying to get found. Um, I do know that this does work on a couple of the other lights because I have another light that it does work on and I have another light that uses a different charger. I, I guess it's because of the wattage it's putting out at the time um, that it requires. That's why they don't all work on each other. But you're simply pushing on the back of this when you're turning it on and off. So when you add the link to it, and that's what they call it, it's the O-link to it, you're pushing on the link itself to turn it on and off. That's all it is to it. Um, super simple, super easy, pretty compact. I mean, here's, here's my iPhone right beside it, so it's a little bitty thing. Okay, so let's get into specifics of weight measurements and all that good stuff. So it is IPX7 waterproof. If that makes sense. Um, which if you look at it, it's pretty sealed up because you don't have any way of taking it apart. So I'll be okay getting a little wet. It only weighs 1.94 ounces or 55 grams, including the battery itself, which there's no way of taking the battery out. So yeah, height 1.89 inches, 44 millimeters. Body diameter is 2.13 inches or 54 millimeters. So it's a little bit package that does quite a bit and it's very multifunctional, I think. Like I said, using it to, if you put it on that right there and you're walking around on trails at night, you know, hanging it off of something or hanging it off your pack, I think it's pretty cool. I think that's well worth it. Uh, two hour charge time. That ain't nothing, you know, for charging a, a light source. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd give it a little bit better ado than what I did when I first got it. I, you know, I was like, am I really going to use this as much as I think I will? I don't know, but I ended up using it a whole weekend. I was dang glad I had the thing because without it, I would have been walking around with a big old bright flashlight or a lantern. But I had this instead, and like I said, I just put it on my finger and carried it like that. So it also is not shining up in your face when you're walking. That was the other plus. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you get something out of this. There will be a link down below for the kit, and there will be a link down below for just the Olight bulb itself. Remember, this thing's magnetic. This thing's magnetic, so you can stick this on metal stuff, not my hand, but metal stuff, anytime you want to, or if you have the link, Olight link, <coughs> excuse me, then you have something you can hang. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. I hope uh, you got something out of this. If you did, 
hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, share the videos, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.